Hi, my name is Dolores Andrew Gavin, and I am back this week with the program for SKGAA Virtual Your Mind Matters. And this week I am looking at and sharing with you a technique taken from NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming, which is a study of how we think, how we communicate, and how we behave. And this NLP is used by people for self development and for personal growth. And today I wanted to introduce to you one of the, I suppose, foundational uh, tools used in NLP, and it's called anchoring. And it's a, a phenomenally powerful tool that we can use in order to train our brain to bring us back to a certain feeling that we want to recreate. Okay, so this anchoring is, let's say, you want to take a free. Now, because we're unique in the way we are for this, Sometimes we might feel, someone might feel fear around taking freeze or penalties um, at certain big games. Or somebody else might want to just feel more motivated in order to take free. So whatever you want, whatever situation you want to have, what we do with this tool called anchoring is we remember back to a time when we felt the way we want to, to feel again right now. We're trying to recreate the feeling that we had. Okay, so let's take the person that wants to feel really motivated when they're going to take this free or penalty and they want to feel motivated. So it's stopping and remembering a time in the past that you actually felt really motivated. Your adrenaline may have been pumping and you got the desired result you want from having felt so motivated. And that maybe added another layer of delight and really proud of yourself for doing something. So we recreate, we go back into the story from our past and we remember how we felt. We think about who we were with, what we were doing, if it was a match, what match it was, how did it end up, what did people say to you afterwards about your free or your penalty. You're really re recreating the story. And as you're really recreating this and you're getting all these feelings again about how you felt, you anchor that feeling down. And you do this by by creating um, something like this, what we do is we anchor it. We're going to, eat, I'm going to take an example of, you can squeeze the nail on your thumb for 10 to 15 seconds as you're thinking about this feelings that you had, how wonderful it felt to be so motivated and the result was wonderful. And you're actually squeezing down here, you're anchoring the feeling in and making a connection with something you're doing here now in real time. You may want to tap your knuckle or your shoulder, whatever, something. But I think this one is quite easy to start off with if you haven't done anchoring before. Now you can come up with whatever you want to do yourself, as I say. So when you have held your anchor for the 15 seconds, you stop and you distract yourself by doing something different. Come out of that story. Maybe turn on YouTube and, or listen to your favorite uh, song so that you disassociate from the story temporarily. Because what you want, to go, you want to do then is you want to go back in and see did it work for you. Now you may have been a bit skeptical and wondered what's all this nonsense about, but anchoring is a powerful tool and it works. So if you feel that when you, when you try to recreate this and if you're pressing down here, you're right trying to recreate the motivation you felt, if it hasn't worked for you, try again. It's like everything these tools get better with practice. So if you really have the motivation that you want to change something, you want to change the way you are going forward and you want a quick tool and a powerful tool, anchoring is one of the best ways you can do it. Now, of course, it doesn't take away from the fact that we need to feel all our emotions if we are fearful of something. You know, feeling the fear is good because sometimes that can give us an adrenaline push. But what we're trying to do here is we're just trying to really get our mind, train our mind to motivate ourselves to do something that we actually really want to do. So I hope you enjoy that tool called Anchoring and I'll be back next week for the SKGAA Virtual Your Mind Matters program, sharing another tool with you.